first off, holy crap. I can't believe it. The video actually went wrong. <laughs> okay, it's I in here. And this is the behind the scenes video that I promised. So we are, we're just gonna start here in the menu. No editing, just gonna cut dry. So let's, so we're gonna start with the female award video. I'm not sure what to do with an outro, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's go to chat, whoops. Chapters, so we're gonna start with the female award. A good place to start. And we're gonna do it on nightmare mode. So here we are. So the first, the first thing I do before I before I even do anything, I so I open this menu. I have a mod called the House Picker mod. First thing, go to Picker settings, disable the HUD because nobody wants to see that. Second of all, uh, I gotta I go to add a move enemy enemy sorry spawn enemy this is where all the magic happens so i'm going to turn on night vision go to free camera that's from a different mod and we go down here this is the path you take so whenever i have a guy down here usually what i do is i put them in this room so let's say we wanted the variant that's been removed Let's see, we want it. We're gonna select Puffy Mutated Arm, which is this guy right here. And. So we'll start from there. The cutscene's gonna play. Yes, Father Martin. You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Yep. What's this in this speech? Now, actually, it's something I want to show off this here. Revelation is at hand. Shut this out, boys. <laughs> uh, that never gets old. That never gets old. Oh my goodness. Alright. So let's get the battery. Yeah, usually I put him in the side. Okay. So we're just gonna speed run this. All the effects. We're just gonna speed run this section until we get to the main room. Usually there's nothing in there. Alright. They're gonna hear me, most likely. Yep. Bashing down the door. Let's see. Alright. Will he hear me walking? He's like paranoid right now. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's coming this way. There he is. Oh, shit. And there's no battery here. Ooh! Here he comes. We gotta outrun this crazy mook. I don't know what that means. I just say it because it's funny. First word into my mind. All right. See ya, punk. Now we're up here. This is where the real magic happens. Let's get some. Let's get some characters. Oh, hold on. So the next thing we're going to do is I actually need to stand around this corner. Let's say we wanted to put patient one uh, in this area. So this is a place I like to spawn one of the I like to spawn the guys at. Either here or one of the side rooms. Let's get let's get you in here, patient one. So I'm standing around because when I walk into here, they don't actually see me. The way they it will. They hear me, but the way the pathing works was he doesn't go this way. He actually goes over there and takes a long way around. So let me show you. Oh no, he's here. Oops. Let's go back around. 
So the door. This door. This is going to be fun to talk about. So this door. As you can see, by default, it's locked. Let's see. Here he comes. He can open it just fine. So now what I'm going to do... Because that door can only... I, I wouldn't be able to open it from the side. However, something I can do... I can, well, I was going to close it. I think I'm dead now. There's a break in here. Search for me. That's the first spot to usually go right there in the bed or the side of the room. Now, with the ones that you can spawn in, unlike the ones the game spawns where they have a wander. The ones I spawn in, they don't have a wander mechanic. So when they're not searching for you, when they're not going to a noise or chasing somebody, they just stand there. But if I move around, he's gonna hear me, and then he sees me, and of course he starts chasing me. Now, let's not door face ourselves again. All right, so we're gonna go through here. Whoop. So we're gonna let's go here. Hey, buddy. So he's probably gonna. Is he down there? The chase is still playing. So he's clearly after me. Yep, there he is. Yep. So now what we're gonna do. Slam the door on him. Now, I would hide underneath the bed, but there's something I want to point out about that. With this AI, because they don't wander, and if they walk up to the bed... Well... Oh, that's, never, oh, that's interesting. And that can happen sometimes if you're in a dark area. So this is a good hiding spot right here. It's a dark room. That's gonna look for me. I'm gonna be a little sneaky, cheeky, break. Oh. Oh, the other guys in here. Now I gotta run. Slam the doors at him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, actually go this way. So I can show you just how absurd the pathing is. Because they can't leap over this. Let's get my friend, shall we? A friend... With a machete. Yeah, see? They don't go that way. They, go, they take the long way around. And so is he, I think. Yeah. Let's get Machete Man in here. He's not going to see me initially. Oh, oh he's going to come for me. Uh, I may have just screwed myself over. Oh, nope. He's going the long way again. Oh, shit. He's coming back around. The other guy is taking a long way. All right. Now I got a little bit of an army after me. Get him through. All right, let's grab these. I'm probably gonna die, but. Oh! Can I still push this? Nope. Okay. 
Now, if there's multiple of them, he's gonna go over there. But if there's multiple of them, one of them's gonna come over here. So, let's see here. I'm gonna sneak by him. Is the other guy down there? No. So we're gonna sneak until we're just out of range. I'm not sure exactly what the range is, but it's not what it is. He's probably gonna walk over here. Now, we're gonna hide here. Something that happens. I probably should've gotten one of them in a chase. But something that can happen, and I failed. <laughs> but something that can happen, and the reason I never, okay. So the reason I never hide underneath beds, yes, there's actually a reason for this. Uh, I'm going to try to show off. So let's have, where should we put them? I'll put a guy here. Alright. Let's get one of the butcher boys in here. Actually, let's just get the the butcher patient in general. We got you. And we're gonna get unarmed. Which would be this model, the one eye. Now we move. see me because of this light here yep they will All right. at least one of them yeah. I, it's just the one or is the second guy after me as well alright so send the door on him I'm running out of night vision the second guy might be cut okay so I'm gonna hide underneath the bed I'm just gonna get myself a battery. See, so he's gonna be coming this way. But there's a reason I don't hide underneath beds, these guys. Because something they'll do is if they walk up to the bed but don't see me. They'll just stand there, like in the the basement of the basement will be. There's a really good example on there. Yeah, they'll just walk up to it, and they'll just stand there, and I won't be able to, and I'm unable to get out. So like, it's, it's kind of just, basically just stuck. All right, he's walking over. He should be. Oh, he is, though. But he just walks back. The fuck? I never seen him do that before. I've never seen him do that before. I've never seen them walk turn area and then walk back. I've never seen him do that. Oh, shit! Now, if they see you go underneath the bed, they'll grab you. Like any other, any other very MP NPC would. Oh shit. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Now, there actually is a way I can, like, just hop levels really fast. Because that is another thing that Picker Mod allows you to do as well. So, to do that. You go to world functions, load checkpoint, and as you can see, 
We have administration block, the prison sewer, all the sections, and even sections from the DLC as well. And you can skip things. I never use those though. So let's say we want to go to the basement. We go to administration block, and we go down to. You know, I tell them I usually go to just in the basement because that just brings you to after you walk down the stairs. And here we are. We're in the basement. Collectibles are here and everything. Now let's go in the free camera. And let's give the basement guy a friend. Let's give him Mr. Actually, let's give him the pyromaniac. So I spawned him at the door. So that guy's just gonna despawn. Actually, hold on. Let me show that. So you can see him through the walls, but he walks far away enough to the point where... Oh, I don't know. He'll just, uh, despawn. <laughs> now, the other guy that I placed... I'm up by here. Yeah, he's gonna bash down the door. So I gotta do... Run in here. Smash his button. Slam the door. Hide underneath the bed. And wait. Because this is a room where the bug happens pretty much guaranteed. But you have to be hiding underneath the bed door for it to happen. Yeah, see? He just stands there by the bed. Now he walks up there, he walks away. This guy, no. And I'm pressing the button, I'm pressing A right now. If normally it would let me out, but because there's a guy standing there, I can't move. So, that's why I never go underneath the bed. And because of this, I have to teleport him away. Which, I never realized I could... I, for some reason, never realized that for the longest time. And here they come. Slam that. Hide behind here. Oh man, I would hide in the locker, but you can get a better view. There's him, and there's the pyromaniac. He's gonna go check one of the lockers. No. I'm not sure what's going on there, but he just hit me. Because I didn't wait long enough. Now, it happens in this room, too. Uh, he's right, okay, he's right there. Alright. This is, since my last known location to him was down, down that hallway, he's coming this way. And he's gonna hear me, he's gonna hear me open the door. I'm pull this lever, he'll hear that, too. Hide in the locker. So they like to do when hiding in a locker. Now something I like to do when hiding in the locker is have to wait for you. Know, you'll see. He opened the locker. Now I'm on the run. Cause he'll be stuck in the animation. Oh! No! 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 Nope! Oh, that was close. Press the power button. Oh. Slip the wall like that. So, up next, I think we'll do the male ward chase. How about that? So something I have to do for the male ward chase is I don't go straight to it because in male ward we have start a male ward, jump out of the vent, that's where the chase starts. So we're gonna go straight to the beginning of the male ward because that allows for setup time. I know.
talking like I'm using talking like I'm playing TF2. Shut up time and all that, but that's the case, because if I were to Yo, let me just show you. You gotta jump out of a vent. And it throws you straight into the sequence. Now, if you've paid close attention during my Man War Chase videos, if you push this in front of them, in front of the door, the guys that are there right now will despawn, and the voice lines will cut off. Of course, I waited too long because I'm talking, so they managed to break the door down. Let's see here. Now, the models. Is that one? Yeah, see, two of them are using the same model. Which is something kind of funny. Two of the pursuers, at least the ones that initially spawn in, use the same model. They just had different weapons. It's the one eye model we saw earlier. It's got a cleaver, the other one has a knife. Where is he? Yep, he's there. He is. Oh. Uh. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, when you just jump straight to that. Shout out time zone. No, no. So I just. <laughs> well, I cut, 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 cut scream, cut scream for you. So yeah, I just jump right here. It may seem a little so. Now that you've seen that. This allows for a setup time, and there's two ways I do it. So I'll just give all of them just hands. I'll make them unarmed. So we'll start with a couple extra chasers, right? So, if I want to just put them in, if I, let's, so let's say we're just gonna have a couple, like, three extra guys, right? I spawn them in this section. Let's have normal. This is the model. Puffy with jeans. This is the infamous nightstick patient. And let's have. You can't remember no eyes. That's miss. That's one of the Mr. Itch models. Let's have these three. And normally this is. And since that's the case, this is where I would start. Whether I'd grab this or not. Pretty much just up whenever I feel like doing. Because it's a battery here, doing which I just recently learned about. I'm not sure what that slide jump was. So now, yeah, I can start in that room. It's usually where I would start recording. Sometimes I start up here, if this guy's in the other room, because I'll show that after this example. Of course, something that has happened before is I reload it, and those doors are already bashed down. Yeah, if that does happen. They're right through here, and there they are. Crashing down the door trying to get me. But yeah. So now this time, we're gonna push this. And as you can probably notice, they stopped babbling. They've pretty much just went quiet. That means because they despawned the original three chasers. But now I remove this, the next three spawn with different models, as you can see. And the knife guy is a different uniform. Oh, shit. Uh, woo, woo. Jesus. I almost messed that up.
Now, they can also bash these doors down if there's like a chunk of them over there. As you can see, one of them's going around. Now we gotta jump. Now, something that happens when I have guys spawned over there is this. The doors just straight up disappear. This is a spot where it tends to happen. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna go to World Function, World Chat Point, Male Ward, start a female ward. Just cut off right there. So now we're gonna try having guys in both rooms. In other words, we're gonna have an army of men chase us. Now to make the process easier on myself, I just get make them all unarmed or don't give them a weapon. I technically, I'm technically giving them a weapon because the option is hands. Speaking of which, let's just send the be peaceful for now. Be friendly. So weapons, we have knife, butcher knife, surgeon's bone shear, which is trigger scissors, machete, security stick, pipe, wooden plank, and the cannibal's drill. So those are our options. So. If I wanted to have a patient with Traeger's uh, scissors, I could do that. Let's say weird. So there you go. Now he has Traeger's scissors. The model clips a little because they're not meant to be holding the scissors, but you get the idea. But yeah, it work and everything. Now, if you want to get rid of one of these guys, kill enemy. Now, the thing about the kill enemy function is... It doesn't just delete one. It deletes all of them. Let's get a few in here. So you have a group of guys here, right? A group of men. Now, you press kill enemy. It kills everything that's every entity that's loaded on the map. Every anything that can move, standing there, attacking. This one doesn't count because he's, I think, a prop. He's using custom animation. So we're gonna try having an army after us. A bunch of guys come from here, and the main and the infirmary. So if I wanted to do that, oh, see, there's the door, there's the, the thing I was talking about earlier with the doors being knocked down. Usually it happens on the second run. If The way I've discovered to counter this is to just reload it from the menu. The method I know that works, oh, the audio is muffled. So something I can do, a way to counter this. Doors are down, so basically now it's just like on insane mode. So, anyways, if I want to have guys coming from both areas, I put myself in the vent. So let's say one of these three, and the rest will go down this corridor. Now we do this. Now I, now I, and here I would start recording. As you can see, doors are gone, so I'm gonna get pummeled instantly. And there's nothing I can do, kind of, pretty much. And I just got strangled to death. As you can see, we're here again. Now, if you wanted to speed run the spawning process, just, just, just click. Just click, pretty much. Now we just gotta, like, run. Just run. As you can see, just got the knife, has this model. The other guy with the butcher you saw earlier. But yeah, 
No, I'm not gonna push it. If I don't push it, then block the door. Their babbling continues. I like to get a shot of them running through. Yeah, we have a kind of an army after us. I'm gonna move. the door just a doorknob all right let's try another location uh let's try the prison block security office let's try the prison block security office this is a good section to do but the best section i can find out of the prison so where are we going to use as an example let's bring night stick patient in So, before even moving on, I just start here. So, I've tried a couple areas. There's a couple areas. You can put them in here if you wanted to. I could put them in here, or I could put them directly in the office where the other guy is. But I've. Oh yeah, you, when you're uh, spec when you're in ghost mode, you'll find stuff like this sometimes. You'll, you'll find that. That'll, that'll happen to you. So let's try having a guy in the back here. His security stick. So we're going to have him in there. I swear going to hear me jump down. Yeah, I hear him moving. Now. The music doesn't sh play immediately. That's because I have to go. So once I get, once I go past his desk, pretty much, that's what the chase music cues. I go in here, and his friend is here, because he spawns in when the door opens. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna show that off real quick. So we're just gonna speed run this whole thing. And they don't save whenever I die. So every time I die, I have to respawn them manually. As you can see, he's not there anymore. They were rituals. Sure thing, buddy. So we live from here. I believe this is... Actually, I just noticed there's a line here. Well, the more you know, now you'll never be able to unsee that. So now he spawns in. Now, the security office, I'm just standing outside it, right? We go away. Oh. He is present. Maybe it is when you cross the line. Maybe when you cross the line, he spawns in. Oh, hey, buddy. You're one of those Murkoff sons of bitches, aren't you? I want to show you something. Hmm. Oh. Hey, buddy. So right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Ivan, why'd you do that? I intentionally got myself killed. I call that, um, resetting. You should do that if something dumb happens. Like, let's say I put a guy in a bad spot or something just doesn't work. So, all right. 
Right now, we go in here. There's no guy in this room. No one in sight. Alright. Still no one. Now we're gonna cross that line. Nope. No one in there yet. So now we're gonna walk over here. Still nobody. Now let's say, what if you walk in the viewing distance of the door? Hmm. Maybe I have to be right at the door. And now he's there. Now he's there. You're one of those Murkoff sons of bitches, aren't you? I want to show you something. Now, kind of a dumb spot. Because normally, if you had two brain cells, you'd think to check this whole room, including underneath this desk. See me. And the jaw is a little funny on that model. The jaw is a little funny on that model. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to give this guy a friend. We're gonna bring Mr. Puffy with jeans himself into the equation. I might have heard that. Slam the door shut. Slam the button. And now we, uh. Oh. Alright, now we hide in here. And once you press that button, that triggers. Oh, that's a nice stick. That triggers. Him. You press that button is when he walks over. Because these, these two are uh, hunting, hunting me down. The third guy, I think, already walked away. He walks through this door. Now, uh, walk through here. There's no actual pathing here for the AI to use. He kind of just goofs off. Even, like, he could have snuck in right before the door closed, but the door didn't stay open for him. Mainly, could also be due to the fact there's no actual pathing here. Which is why, it's the main reason why I don't have anyone in the admin block, or at least the beginning, the bit in the beginning portion of the game. Administration block, prison, yeah, administration. After throwing the glass. So after Chris Walker throws through the window. I would like to have, play this section with a guy. But let me show you what happens. There's no actual AI pathing in this section of the map of the area. So we put a guy here. And he can see me. He sees me right now. He can probably see if he can. Okay, he'll st they'll still hit you. They'll they can still hit you very much if you walk up to them, but uh, they won't chase you. I said they just kind of do that. They, they can't move. They just kind of get mad. Almost. Because that animation is called Mad Chase. When they do that thing with their... Yeah, that. When, with their fists. It's called Mad Chase. But yeah, that's why I don't have them in this area. Now let's say... If I were to bring him up here... Go I haven't uh, I haven't used this before. Ghost mode. Whoa. Okay, that's new. So I'm just gonna excuse me, sir. Oh, the doors are gone. Hey, buddy. How you doing? So 
so now for the real, the real, the part that's in the thumbnail, the female ward. Second floor. So Mr. Itch and the machete patient, the nice big guy is always on the first floor. It's the other two that I put up here. So then we start here. I'm going to place them now. We're going to start with Mr. Itch himself, who had the wooden plank. I put him over here, which he's going to be okay, there. You take it on the eyes. I put him over here. Now, the machete guy, on the other hand, he goes way down in this room. Which I'm going to change the weapon to machete. Go to other patients. New mutated head two. And there he is. And now we're ready. That's all the setup there is. The issue is there's no way to actually save it so they can stay if I die. There's no actual saving I can do. So yes, every time I die, I have to manually respawn them. Which is why the video with these guys was kind of a headache to make every time I... Because every time I die, I reset them. So he's going to go down there. And most likely... Yep, he opened the door. So now we're going to go through here. Could go this way too. Which one's going to show up first? Oh, there he is. The other guy should come out. There he is. He's just going to... Oh! I'm not sure if the other guy saw me. Well, here in this light, he will. Send the door shut. Grab this. I normally don't hide in the lockers in this room. Apparently, I just evaded them perfectly. Because I was in that middle locker. They're checking the side ones. Yeah, that's something the AI does in Outlast. I'm not sure why. Like, I th like I've never once had one of these guys just randomly walk up to the lock I was hiding in just by chance. They always check one that's like other than the one I'm hiding in. It's, I'm not sure why the AI is like that. Because if, if it were actually random, there would be a chance of them finding the locker I am in. And it's not just this chapter either. It does it anywhere there's a locker. Now, normally I hide over there. If you want to be uh, more, a little more direct, you can hide here. It can work, as you can see here. Now, that table over there is more risky to hide in. Because once they go around, you gotta, the only choice you have is to vault over or die. Like, if you can vault. Let's see. Hmm. He's looking for me right now. I vault. Should I go towards that? Oh, hey, buddy. I'm gonna run, and he's probably gonna see that. Yep. So I'm gonna slam the door shut on those, those bozos. Mr. Itch, he's gonna be somewhere down there. Alright, let's land the doors. Take some pick, so buy us some time. Get those, get those in. Now, Mr. Itch is gonna be somewhere down here. I'm not sure where. He may be down. Yep, there he is. Land the door shut. Not hide underneath the bed. Could I hide underneath it? No. The desk is facing the door. That way, so they'd be able to spot me pretty easily. But here. 
him. So that he'll actually he'll search a little more than the other guys will. Oh god. Oh god. Go for it. Now he'll actually walk away. But these guys, because I spawned him in, he'll just stand there. But he the game spawned him in, so he has kind of a walk path. This guy does not. He just searches. But if he's not in a search or chase, he just stands there. They will hear noises though. And they'll react to it, as you can see. He's reacting to the noise, as you can see. Let's walk out of the room. Let's walk. No, I'm not sure where the second guy is. Oh, hello! Last time I did this, I door faced myself. That, what you just saw, was redemption. He's, let's see, he's in the door bash animation. So now I'm gonna do this. And now that's gonna fall. But they can't vault over this, which is kind of funny. Are they gonna come over here? Oh, hello. I never noticed you before. Oh, oh, sh Well, that's what I get for lacking. That's what I get for lacking. Oh boy. So now, that's, that's. Alright, if you see a weird cut there, uh, I, I'm, I apologize for that. Somebody walked into the room. I walked into the room, I thought it was a zombie, it was not a zombie. Anyways, moving on. The... So now down in the bottom. Now here, I could do a couple of things. I never put them behind this door. Kind of ruins the atmosphere. I could put it behind here again, which is usually what I do. Or something I've more recently been doing is putting them back here. Let's try that one. Let's just have... Uh-oh. Nice stick with a machete. Changing up the formula. Oh! Changing up the formula. Yep, that guy's gone. Eh, nobody's in there. However... Oh, here he comes. Watch this. Oh yeah, he's gonna hear that in a heartbeat. So now what I can do is just lock him in here. And I think he just, oh, no, he's in there. Now that wouldn't be so bad if, oh, I never grabbed the key. I never grabbed the key. I never grabbed the key because I'm an idiot. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. Ring around the rose, you this goofy goober. Get the key, you goober! Alright. Slam the door in his face. Now he should spawn. Yeah, there, there he is. And let's go up here. And now we're safe. Now, of course, if the other two were still up here on the floor, they would walk around and come through this door. This is a knot for safe. We're free! Ah! ah! Alright. So yes, and a thing on straight jacket patients. I don't use them often. I guess if I want to be extra unique. So let's put a guy. Actually, I wonder if there's movement here. Oh. Oh, there's not. Ah! Oh, whoa, I'm looking at the ceiling. But he is aggro towards me. He's doing the anger animation again. The 
Chase is still registered. So I have no idea what he's doing. Hey, buddy. So he's in a chase right now. But there's no, uh, there's no AI thing, so he's just gonna stand there. Now, can I fall off this? <laughs> oh, he does go after you! <laughs> yeah, you fall down here, this guy's gonna be after you. Hey, buddy. Now I gotta do a little run again. Do it here. This is oh, how'd you get down here? How did he get down here? There's a gap right here. Oh. Well, that's not good. I'm screwed. Unless. Jump! God damn it! Miles! What happened to you, dude? Miles, what's happened to you, buddy? There you go! Alright, uh, okay, so the door, the door glitch happened again, so we're just gonna go through here. And we're gonna jump. Only one way out. Only one way. So, as for more miscellaneous stuff, uh, we have Father Martin. He's here somewhere. Oh, we got the Pyromaniac. We have... I know he's actually no, he's in the other menu. He's right here. William Hope, show you fake winner. Martin Arco Ow. Uh <laughs> Yes. What you're seeing looks like nightmare fuel. So he he technically works with the animations, but also doesn't. His jaw is freaking out, as you can see. Whereas the pyromaniac is fine. It's a little goofy. But if we wanted to take another step, we could have Eddie. Eddie Gluskin. The wall the wall rider. And of course How do you know you Chris Walker? I have my friendly mode so they won't come after me. So yeah, that's actually hold on. Before we do that, let's mess around with some miscellaneous features, shall we? Because I'm out of batteries. Use this menu to get us some. Uh, I think it's player functions. Yeah, no clip, auto money hop. Batteries. You can put as many as you want. So let's say you want a 99 infinite batteries. Oops. Uh, I guess not. I think 100 is the cap. Batteries. Why do I have negative? Let's see if I wanted to give myself infinite batteries. I pretty much can. Now if you wanted to actually give yourself unlimited batteries, just enable it. Enable this feature and you have batteries forever and ever and ever. I don't think you even have to recharge either. 
No, I don't mess around this much. Let's see. The limp. You can modify the limp. Sort of like like the limp at the end, or actually, what if uh, hobble? Yeah, you can have Wayland Parks uh, hobble. Free animations. I'm not sure what that does. So free cam, of course, allows you to go free cam like this. that you can have god mode so you don't take any damage which is something i use for making thumbnails sometimes uh I actually just sends everything right here but of course i also have the allies to menu hud so i can just enable god mode through here so now what i can do is let's say we wanted to make a thumbnail, right? Let's say you're one and one of a bunch of guys chasing us. What I'll do is I'm just having a bunch of. I'll have. Let's have you, 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 and you on there. Now, what we're gonna see is. That's the wrong way. So we can use Chris Walker's music. But here they come. Here comes the army of boys. So, as you can see. I'm not taking damage. And the rest are- they're running in sync! They're running in sync, what the hell? Okay, there's two chase teams going on here. But yeah, as you can see here, you're gonna have things get pretty crazy. I'm not sure why there's two teams playing at once though. This didn't happen before. Hey buddy. Now of course something I would do is I'd just spam the screenshot button here, but that would lap it. Now, which analyzed the game. As you can see, I'll show you right now. I took like what? 10, 15 screenshots there? Like somewhere in that ballpark. Now, if we wanted to have a little extra fun, something I can do is uh, let's try something other than the pages. We're gonna get a security ship. Let's say we wanted the full on security team after us, right? Like security guards. So, something I can do. Could have the MTD come after me. Let's see. Worker, worker two. Guard. So yes, this is an option. Let's have three. Alright. Here they come. The security team's after me. Do they function? Yeah, it's the same. Now they, I mean, if I walk into the light, they will be able to see me. I might make this guy the thumbnail. <laughs> Here. I might make these guys the thumbnail, keep how entertaining this is. Hey buddy. now we just um, go to the room we're supposed to go in. Slam the door. Open the vent. And of course, crawl through there.
so I'll just walk through here. No. Nah. They won't get me through there. Oh. goes. Oh, he just disappears. Maybe there's someone to here? No, because there's a guy at the window here where you first walk up. Anyways, they should still be over there. Yep, it's minding their own business. I could bring them over here. I'm not sure what the chase me is still playing now. Never had that happen. Now they can't, I guess there's no AI navigation there. Let's bring them out here. Oh no, there is navigation through here. Oh crap. Question mark? Oh. That's funny to look at. Oh, it's probably because the fact there's supposed to be a door here. Alright, you bozos are going to be the thumbnail. So yeah, that's uh... That's that. Alright, that's that. So, that's just a little a little behind the scenes on how I make my Outlast videos. I will link the picker mod in the description. So you can guess who messed around with that. It's quite fun. And, you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.